Thanks for stopping and listening. When I was in the military as a younger man, I had the opportunity to uh, have a year rail pass or take some time off. And I took some time and I wanted to go to Athens to see the Acropolis. So I got on a train and I went through Milan, Italy, and um, on the way to Brindisi, which would catch the ferry across. Well, when I ended up in Milan, I was in a, a car that was filled with Italian soldiers. And I was the only American soldier there. So we struck up a conversation and we spoke and talked throughout the night about um, events that are similar in our life. The interesting piece was they didn't speak English and I didn't speak Italian. But that didn't stop us from communicating with each other about the interesting and fun things that happen to people in the military. And I realized that even though I wasn't in the Italian military, there were some still very similar things that occurred in the way they were trained is the way we are trained in the military in the United States as it relates to basic training and the funny things that happen in the military. The point is that despite the language barriers we may see, or may feel, or the cultural barriers that we experience in, in another country, there are some similarities. There are places that we can bridge the gap between the two and be able to communicate. As believers, we have that ability, because at the base floor of, of who we are as evangelicals is that there's a common thread, there's a common understanding, and because of that common understanding and teaching that's that uh, crosses genera um, generations as well as geography, we can have a fellowship. Like those times when I was in the, um, in the train talking to people and from different countries, is finding that bridge that allows you to communicate with people of other cultures and other, and, and other languages. We can uh, fellowship with one another because we have that common understanding of who Christ is and what Christ did, even though we're not, we're not from this, the uh, same country. So the next time you're out and you encounter someone who's not from your area, find that common ground to have a conversation and let the Lord take that conversation where it would lead. It may be finding out that they need some help, maybe they need prayer or they, or they want to pray for you to find, find that ground. There is some. He'll show you.